Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 5 of the Ultimate Iron Man series. On the last episode, I finally prepped everything I need to actually go and get myself any construction. Uh, mainly the money, which was 2.5 mil, approximately. And today, we're gonna get 80 construction. And on top of it, there's a lot of other things that we will be doing, like a sneak peek of some PVMing and some other cool games. So look forward to the video. All right, I think this is officially the last trip and we got a lot of stuff out of it for sure. For XP, some herbs as well. But yeah, today's a big day. I think I'm gonna do Dranslayer so I can uh, finish this medium clue and uh, use up all this stuff and then start the construction. All right, we're gonna start this quest now. I usually do this quest way earlier, but never really felt the need until this medium clue scrolls keep getting in the way. All right, we got the medium clue. Hell yeah, paid off. Finish this quest. Finally, after uh, 90 plus combat. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Okay, that's done. Anyways, I want to just see if we can get some nice things from this medium. Oh, I got a stall, but uh, yeah. Oh, actually, Pyramid? Hey, that's actually pretty good. Alright, here we go. We begin the construction grind once again. Ooh, I got a smithing level. Nice. All this smelting comes a long way. Oh, there it is. 70 smithing. That's huge, man. Imagine getting 70 smithing like this early on the account, man. Holy. 10 more levels to go. The 10 more arduous levels. Oh, wait. I said 70 smithing. Oh, sorry. 70 construction. Oh, shit. A hard clue. Uh-oh. Can I even do this? Ooh, we can. Oh, my God. We're going to try Okay, if we get lucky, we can finish it right now. Ah, dang it. Oh my god. Ah. Saved. Holy shit, saved. Holy moly, what can this be? We do want an MSB for the future, so here we go. Oh, f magic longbow, dude. Are you serious? I got trolled, dude. Oh, oh man. Oh, nice. We got 71 construction. Uh, none of these are too useful, but we can easily boost for the stamina pool, though, in the future. Good luck, us. Oh, Armadale page. Okay, that's fine. I can store this. Second page and third page, and we can have a sick range book. Damn, we did a lot today. 270k con gain today, uh, about 63k an hour, which is really good. I was honestly thinking 50k, right? We're back at AFK Calcified Rocks for the mining per XP. Um, 70 mining is pretty good for some of the else in the future, and more per level is always good. So yeah, we'll be doing this uh, every time we're done with construction. Oh shit, 60 mining. Is that mining guild already? Oh yep, it is. That's pretty cool. 10 more levels to 70 for a very long-term goal. Here we go. Easy clue. Ooh, ancient page. Nice, we can store that. Medium clue. Whoa, leprechaun hat. Nah, I can store that too. Today's AFK session yielded me 9.6k bone shards, so I was there for a bit. Got to 63 mining. This is about 45k per XP. There it is. I uh, gained 48k per XP. Just a little shy of 59 per so. Last episode, I unlocked Camp Torum by starting the quest Perilous Moon. So Perilous Moon lets you start fighting the Moons of Peril bosses for the first time. And I don't actually plan on like grinding them anytime soon since my gear is definitely not up to par, especially with the limited inventory space of the UI am. I can actually still take advantage of the bosses. The Moons of Peril bosses acts as a hidden storage method for any weapon. How it works is that there's one boss called the Blue Moon boss. She has a mechanic where whatever weapon you're wearing, she will take it away from you literally and then put it in the iceberg all you have to do is log out and then once you log back in the weapon stays with the dungeon and you can just get it back by talking to one of the npcs in the dungeon so i store my bow mace here earlier and i decide i want to store my d skin because the bow mace is pretty much obsolete now i'm done with scurrious unfortunately this method is too new so i wasn't exactly sure how to get back my weapon during the quest during the quest is a little bit more awkward. You have to go back to the Blue Moon room to actually retrieve it because I couldn't actually get it back from talking to Yato. 
I found doing it during the quest a bit annoying, so out of frustration, I decided to go for the full completion, meaning go for one KC Perilous Moon, so that way I can store it normally and talk to the Yato NPC in the chest to get it back next time. I know for sure grinding this boss out right now long term would not be worth it, but just for one KC, except I definitely underestimated one of the bosses in the Moons of Perils dungeon, you'll see what I mean. Okay, not too bad. I'm only using like half of this food. So if I just get a full inventory, you know, before every fight, I should be okay. Okay, sweet. All right, even with torso and addy legs and 60 defense, I seem to do all right. Okay, we cleared the first boss. Oh, this guy died. Oh, he's learning or something. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, this this fight's scary though. This This is definitely a scary fight. Because I don't have that much food left. Depending on how hard she hits. Dang, she's just healing so much is the problem. But we're, we're getting close. This is a close fight. Okay, good. As long as she doesn't heal like hit like 20s, I'm okay. Alright, just gonna try our best. I just want to start with like maxed out HP so I don't have to heal. Alright, wish us luck. Only two food. No. She hit a 19. That means she heals like a lot. Oh, man. Dang it, dude. She's just healing so much. Ugh, we're on negative now. Oh, dang it. Might have to leave. Yeah, we're going to have to leave, actually. So close. So close, but I can't really risk it. Obviously, you don't want to die. So, we're going to have to try again. The moss lizards are not good right now because it only heals for a third of my cooking level. So, it's a 13. We weren't potted last time. Because I couldn't make the uh, actual potions in there because of my stats. But, we're going to have better food and we're going to be potted. Dang, how did we do so good the first, first attempt? Honestly. Yeah, we have to leave, unfortunately. God damn. Oh, fucking hell. Ouch. Yeah, we're not gonna get it. Unfortunately. So close. Holy shit, I'm just gonna eat up though. Alright, don't fuck this up. Because I can hit, hit a, a 19 and it's done. Hit it, hit it. Oh, come on. 19, bro. Oh, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. A 15? Dang it. And we have to leave now. Ah. Oh. She just has her streaks of damage, man. Okay. Yes, zero, zeros. Come on. Oh my god. No, she healed at 36. Dude, come on. Alright. Dang, maybe I should have saved the DDS. Go, go, go. Hit an 8. We got it. Boom, baby. Oof. That was hard. But we did it after, uh, like, 6 tries. Man, this hard challenge got me hungry. I'm gonna get some food. I've been playing so much on my new Ultimate Iron Man that I need to eat proper meals to keep this pace going. Thankfully, I got my HelloFresh subscription. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They have 45 plus dinner options curated by professional chefs. All their meals are centered on being healthy, tasty, and affordable, and covers a wide range of dietary lifestyles. All the food is freshly prepared and sent directly to you weekly. All you have to do is pick your recipes and a delivery day or pause orders without the cost for whatever reason for the week. Plus, HelloFresh is giving new subscribers free appetizers for life per box order. Personally, the convenience of making healthy and tasty meals from HelloFresh is unmatched. I prepared some meals from HelloFresh this week. The instructions that come with the meal kits are easy to understand. The meals are easy to cook yourself. Plus, I have fun cooking the meal and being able to taste my efforts within the hour. This is a great time to enhance your 2024 with great meals. Use my link in the description and enter my code on screen 
to receive 10 free meals and free advertisers for life while subscription is active. Back to the progress. I'll talk more about these bosses in depth when I actually grind them long term, but as you can see, I'm definitely not properly geared enough or stand enough to do this boss efficiently. We want to be able to grind these like non-stop multiple times in a row before leaving and also with limited inventory space. So particularly our defense, we definitely got to boost it up with better armor and just yeah, better defenses. It's going to be a while before I can actually get the full blue moon set and be able to store it, but I am very excited to be able to do this properly in the future. Hell yeah, let's go. It's so much easier, like, god damn. Like, Red Moon is just miles uh, tougher than these other two. Like, absolutely miles tougher. We got it! Hey, one and done. Oh, man. Sweet, boys. There we go. We have officially completed Perilous Moon with very minimum stuff. God dang, that was hard. But I gained 52 Slayer, so it was just worth, honestly, completing it anyways. Sweet. And 56 Hunter. But yeah, that speeds up our Slayer grind in the future. We do have to open the chests. First chest early, I guess. Oh, thank God it's not an item, because I really did not want to mess this up here. Wait a minute, the D-Skim task didn't even get completed, did it? Oh, is it because of the DDS, maybe? All right, so once we see, like, the giant icicle cubes things, those, like, little icebergs spawn, we can go in. Okay, yeah, we can go in now. And there we go. DDS is lost. We log out. And then we log back in, and uh, we should be able to get the DDS back from the NPC. All right, so the NPC is now in the chest room, so we can now talk to her and get it back, right? Lost my weapon, fighting Blue Moon. Here you go. Yeah, see, now we got it back. This is actually one of the most broken new storage methods ever because you can store any weapon. Ranged weapon, magic weapon, melee weapon, weapon that has charges like a scythe or a blowpipe, does not matter. It can be stored. And also things like chins too, apparently, can be stored. So that's absolutely nuts. I'm going to be using this method to store all kinds of things in the future. Alright... The skim is now stored. Sweet. I managed to get an elite clue while woodcutting teaks. And the elite clues, as far as I know, the rewards, are, none of them are really that great. But I'm just itching to try it out. So I'm going to give it a go. Maybe you get lucky on a third age or whatever. You never know. But it's really difficult to complete elite clue at this stage. So that means I'm going to have to probably do a lot of quests and like a bunch of things. But it's okay. I got a quest anyways. Alright, so I do have an elite clue here. We made it kind of far. Alright, nice. That's another quest done. We gotta do some barb training stuff just to access the brutal dragons. And I guess in the process, I will also just learn uh, how to plant without sea dipper and like fish some sh uh, sharks and stuff without uh, the harpoon. Might as well. All I had to do was unlock the fire making part. But I think I also unlocked the Sea Dipper already, so farming is going to be a little nicer now. Okay, wish us luck. Hopefully we can actually kill this. 50% more accuracy now with water spells on uh, dragons, chromatic dragons. Oh wait, we, we're hitting, we're hitting. I hit a 20 and an 18. Okay, it's working guys. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, I think we got it for real. Nice. Took, oh my god, 85 shots. Yo, where's this? Where's this area? Taibo Wanai... Oh, dude, I'm getting trolled so hard with this stuff, man. No, step seven. Oh, that's so cruel, man. Oh, I gotta kill Bloodvelt. Wait, I can do it. I have 50 Slayer. And you know, I literally just got that today because I had to do Perilous Moon. Oh, thank you. Thank you, RNG. Look at that, guys. Oh, and a, and a combat test. Look at that. Anyways, let's open it. What? What is this? Oh, dang it. Afro, dude. We're a fucking clown for doing this one. But hey, we actually completed it. All right. So I do have a free leg slot to wear. And we have enough points to buy a carpenter trouser. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. This will give me some bonus construction experience. So might as well. And eventually we will complete the full set. So that way we can take it out for like 99 con grind. In like a far distant future. 
Yo, 72 construction. Nice. Eight more to go. Damn, 300 contracts done. Jeez. And that has gotten us all the way to 72. Nice. 73 con. No way. The number. Damn, 100k to 73. But that's still only like an hour and a half. So it's not bad, actually. Alright. I actually will go ahead and buy another piece of the Carpenter series. I'm going to buy the boots for more XP by buying boots of lightness. I think I'd rather go for XP, right? Oh shit, 65 mining, sick. Oh, five more to 70, woohoo. Anyways, using up our bone shards from today's AFK, 60 prayer, which is pretty sick as I can uh, use shivery. But that's if I complete King's Ransom. Let's see how close they are to each other. Okay, so there's a lot of teak trees. All right, I guess this is gonna be uh, the new spot actually to cut teaks because you can actually see it from the fairy ring, actually. So it is probably a good 5, 10 seconds faster. It's either our souls are here, but I guess nobody's really here. Not many people know about this new spot. There it is. 74 woodcutting. I mean woodcutting. 74 construction first level of the day. Maybe I can get another one today. Bit of a shorter session day. Nice. 69 woodcutting. Sweet. I think I need one more level for a solid elf wreck, right? So that's cool. There it is, 75 construction. Ooh, 58 farming, sweet. I'm just planting some random trees, uh, seeds that I'm getting from woodcutting during my construction grind, but yeah. We'll be doing some serious farming though, uh, once we finish the con grind at Thai Farm. Today's just the mining day, AFK. Didn't get to play too much. Sorting out some uh, RL stuff, but hey, we still getting mining levels and a lot of prex XP. Yo, look at this boy, 70 mining. So that is basically some of the elves mining wreck done. There really isn't too many super important mining levels uh, after this, I guess. But the bone stars are really nice and I would love to get to 70 prayer with as least hassle as possible. And AF King is like one of my biggest advantages that I have, so I'll probably just keep mining. Okay, we are pretty much done with the bone shards. I gained 86k per, got three levels basically. Damn, I've completed 400 contracts though. Oh, there it is, 76. Construction, nothing really interesting on that level, but four levels to go. There it is, 70 wood cutting. Uh, it doesn't say I unlocked anything, but I'm pretty sure that's Son of the Elf Wreck, so. Let's uh, check this out. Son of the Elves. Yep, 70 wood cutting. There you go. One of them done. Yo, 77 construction. But we're getting closer. Looks like I'm going to be able to get the full outfit on the way to 80 construction. So we're going to buy the Carpenter's Hat. And then we just need to get the top. And then we can get a full set bonus. But yeah, this is still extra XP. Damn, another woodcutting level. Ooh, crystal axes. That's interesting. Didn't know it was 71. Two more tasks for 78. Oh shit, I just hit 500 contracts. Damn. And we're about 70% of the way there to 80 con total. That's a lot of contracts. Crazy, I still don't have the full set. Even after doing that many. Oh, there it is. 78 con. That was so fast, honestly, still. Mahogany wardrobe costume room. Oh, that's huge. That's a big one. But yeah, we did 69k an hour almost or something. Jeez. Yeah, the rates were so good. Alright, all that's left is 200 and approximately 40k more XP tomorrow. And we are done, so... But yeah, we did seven hours of construction today. Holy shit. And I'm not actually too tired of it yet. Tomorrow we finish the Bob the Builder arc. Alright, 64 prayer. Nice. Doing our weekly tiers to boost our herbalore. Let's go. 30. What? We gained three levels. Oh my god. Nice. 39 smithing. Cool, cool. Getting some uh, really slow mining and smithing experience though while we were doing construction. Nice, 79 construction, let's go. 
Just one last one to go, guys. 187k XP left. Um, that's going to take a little bit over two hours. It might be the first level that's going to take over two hours. Oh, leather holes and shorts. Crazy. Oh, I already have one? Oh, I have it. Yes, I completed leather holes and sweet. That means uh, another XP lamp. A 72 we're cutting. Let's go. Damn, look at this. We did it. 600 contracts, 800 points. Wow. That's awesome. And that means we can actually get the full construction outfit certification as Bob the Builder. So, yes, carpenter shirt. Let's go. Now we get the full set. Set effect. Let's see if it tells me. There we go. XP from construction will be increased by 2.5% if the full set is worn. Oh, so nice. Let's go. And I can store it and take it out in the house as well. So, awesome. Alright. This is a big, big moment here. We are 451 XP away from the legendary 80 construction. And here it is. 80 construction. Now I can build maximum 30 rooms. Altars as well for spellbook swapping. Gotta take a bit of setup. That's really nice too. There's a lot of different teleports that doesn't say that we technically unlocked. I got tier 1 jewelry box that I can make right now. And a few other ones like the ruby necklace mounted. The Seric Taliban mounted. I don't have that stuff for it but eventually we will. Uh, basically all the pools we could potentially make. And most importantly is the stash unit all of it we can boost all the way to master this store here is really nice for jewelry there we go gotta buy the jewelries that we need to make the jewelry box one i'll show you why it's so nice we're gonna build this super expensive room called the achievement gallery because we're going to build the jewelry uh, box here all right there you go we got the boost we're gonna drink this and there we go oh this is incredible item here to have in our house just even tier one is busted the amount of times i gotta go to birth op and stuff oh tesla gothics too is really nice winter todd uh spooky wilderness but yeah birth op number one like i go here so much and most importantly is the Ring of Dueling, especially the first Enclave. Effectively, I have infinite tellies as long as I can buy my law runes, keep up the law runes. And I can use it to reset my, my run energy and also put stuff in the loot bag. Alright guys, it's time to finally... Ooh, I like this color. It's time to finally raise a cat because we do need to boost for the stash unit and you know how I'll be with stews and stuff. Need my cat. There we go. We now can store our cat in there. Oh, I, I need to grow it up first. Hey, nice cat's grown, but we're not quite done yet. Uh, because I want to upgrade this cat or uh, I guess train the cat to Wally status. Nice 65 prayer. All right. So we begin our little cat quest saga or the Wally cat saga. First quest, a Lauren's little helper. And then rat catchers, and uh, we start the Evil Dave quest series for them spicy stews. We got the cat speak amulet, so time to work on rat catchers. I'm gonna risk it. What the f? How can you see me from a billion miles away like that? Wow. Wait a minute. Don't I have to do two more quests? I gotta do the freaking golem quest too. Fuck. There's so many quests. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I just gotta, gotta do two more quests now. I'll put a magic, honestly. There we go. Beautiful. Got another magic level. Nice. 1350 total. Let's go. I usually just use a regular cat to hunt for the spices, but because on the ultimate Iron Man, I'm going to be boosting so much more to make like a bunch of different stashes at different times. I definitely want to invest in getting the wild cat. The only problem is to make a wild cat it has to be overgrown first <laughs> and my cat currently is just regular so i don't really have time to wait i will have the wally cat ready for future uh, other boosting whether it's for construction or anything else all right now we can start boosting boys for this first ever stash unit feels good man where do you oh there we go spice rack okay i'm gonna build the spice rack uh ultimate irons can actually use this so that's sick. Look at that. You can store them now. Originally, you can. But yeah, this is really nice. 
All right, here's the hidey hole for the blue moon set, aka the magic set. Here we go. Oh, we got it already. Wait, two mahogany planks, huh? What do you mean? Ten nails. No, I got it in one try, but I don't have ten nails. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. The logout trick's kind of scuffed nowadays. So, come on. I don't know if I can keep this. Yo. All right, log out again. Log out again. Stupid nails. Oh my god, not having run is such a struggle, guys. Okay, I'm gonna log out one more time. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let me get there on time. Oh my god, I actually did it. That's insane. One try? And we freaking made it. I guess the logout trick works to an extent, but whoa, we did it. All right, sweet. We just don't have the Perilous Moon yet, of course, but yeah. Nice. That's one of the best stash units done. Okay, we're back for round two. Let's do this. Upgrade this some more. There we go. Mahogany case. Now I can store everything. For real. All right, well, we did Mahogany Cape Rack now, so we can pretty much store almost every cape. Almost. Okay, the last thing we can do is... Nice, look at that. We pretty much... The best storages, almost like 95% of the best storages we got. This is probably our first major grind on the Ultimate Iron Man. Getting the stash units unlocked. However, there's still a lot more I have to do on other areas to prepare for efficient Perilous Moons. And anyways, let's talk about some of the side stuff that I've been working on too. I'm doing quite a bit of farming still through fossil island the seaweeds and the bird houses but i'm actually at a level now thanks to all of that farming to actually go and do thai farm thai farm is actually rather important because i can get myself the sea box and it's also probably my best farming training method my farming is already good enough to do the medium tier seeds which means i should be able to get some decent farm xp and i need to do thai to get a few more levels and also i need the points which is i believe 300 points to buy the seed box so let's go ahead and do that it's going to be amazing for me since i can't use the seed fall either on the ultimate being able to store six seeds on that seed box is going to be super super useful for me so yeah that's it we just gotta gotta keep doing this until 65 farming at least see how many points we get okay so when these are fully harvested you don't actually have to rush anymore i can actually walk because they are no longer on a timer when they're fully harvested now so that's really nice for my non-graceful ass all right, let's try this. I've never actually planted this one here, but we can maybe sneak in an extra one. Oh, shit. Yo, sick. Look at that. We did 21 in a row. That worked. Nice. Okay, I guess we can keep doing that. There it is. Our first level here. Oh, snake grass. Not bad. We're getting 60k farming an hour just doing mid-level tie farm. Man, this is how tie farm should have been. When it first came out but it took like 10 different changes over the years to really get it to this point okay so it's gonna take actually around four hours to get the seed box at my current setup 63 farming oh i can grow belladonna that's like a diary thing we're halfway done with our points so we need 300 for seed box and anti-weed yo 64 farming and we are 210 points out of 300, so. Alright, guys. We're gonna get 65 farming. Yes, look at that. You can now access farming guild mid-tier and grow his spore. Finally. We're, we're gonna unlock the best death banking method in the entire game for Ultimate Iron Man. is bucket chance. Amazing. And also another herb patch, dude. That's nice. Tree patch as well. All right, so this should give me 300 points. I want to say yes, 300. There is a lot of nice rewards nowadays from this place, but we're only going to go for two. So we're going to get the auto weed. Boom, activate it. And then we're going to get the seed box. Beautiful. But I can put some seeds in if I get them randomly. And instead of putting my looting bag, auto weed is awesome because no weeds will ever grow. Hell yes. Finally, after quite a few weeks we can now plant our first spore seed 
now that I've completed one of the biggest goals for the account, it is time to move on to the next stages. We're going to try to get ourselves a zombie axe, so that way we actually have a nicer weapon than a D-skim. And we're going to want that for Perilous Moon to get our magic gear, like I've said, to store it with our newly made stash. So there's going to be quite a bit of skilling, questing involved, a new content, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode because it is jam-packed just like this one. Catch you guys later.